welcome to all about piggies i'm jen and simon is actually right here in this hidey um let me see if i can grab him and get him to come out he likes to be bashful um anyways he's joining us today for this haul this is actually his new cage where garfunkel and him will be but um they won't be bonded in here i will be putting them in a playpen in my living room so i can watch over them because i think it's so important especially with males sometimes the reactions aren't the best so here's mr simon <laughs> and i gave him a barley biscuit but he would rather just run around and go check out all the new stuff so today i have a haul a haul but i also have somebody bought a bunch of stuff off our amazon wish list which is beyond kind of them um so let's get started with the haul and all of that so my mom and i we went to walmart and i don't go to walmart very often but very exciting whenever i make noise you go simon um i don't go to walmart that often it's just not my favorite store but i like to get this natural nature salad one thing i do want to say is i take these popcorn bits out because they're not good for our guinea pigs but otherwise I allow this and I just like to put this in their hay, our different places in their cage, just because it's so good for them. So, um, but so yeah, I do try and get this once in a while. My mom's ringing in a couple bins. You can just sit them there. So, but, so yeah, Simon's hanging out with me. I see. So don't I'll mind, that one right there. don't mind Chippendale. They're going berserk in the background because they want... Was are on top of the cages. Oh, yeah. They want to um, have everything. Anything that makes noises, they got to have. Plus, it's dinner time. So, we got four of these nature salads. Um, like I said, I just take the popcorn bits out for them just because you don't want to give your guinea pigs popcorn. Look <laughs> at Simon. And then I ordered this in. This is ivermectin. Um, ivermectin. Ivermectin is another name for it. And... You're supposed to give your guinea pigs every, like, three to four months a pea-sized drop of this. Obviously, little guinea pigs, you don't want to get that much. But I'm going to definitely do this with my older five just because it's healthy for them. Simon. <laughs> Simon's like, don't touch me. Um, he is. He's such a, he's having a ball. He's like, what is there to eat? <laughs> Where's the <your> food? <laughs> so, you have a biscuit over there, dude. Like so, and then another thing that came in also was another one of these. So, I have matching ones for all four of my cages. They have to call for each other. Just part of it. And then, at Walmart, this is the first time I ever saw these. These um, Naturals Metal Hay Balls. And I did look them up. And they're allowed to have them. They're actually very nutritious for them. You just want to make sure they're green. Which, they're clearly green. Dude, do you want some of that or what? I'm going to eat it. So... We ended up getting two Who bags to try. to try. You can put one in all the cages if you want That's to. That's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna so, this one broke. Oh, well. So, we got two bags of them. If they like them, we'll just go back. Let me are search. they supposed to be coming apart? Yeah. They're supposed to be for them to chew on. Yeah, but I mean, are they? Ooh, they're strong. Like balls like this. So, I know they're going to go bizarre for them. They look like little hay bales. Yeah, real little hay bales. So, we got... Plastic. We got okay, that. And then, I, um, oh, this is part of Samantha's gift. And then I had ordered off samsclub.com some coconut oil, you guys. This is really good for their skin and their paws. So I'm going to start on Fridays when I do their grooming routine, putting some of this on their paws. Um, it just is really healthy. But the lid is broke, so I'm going to message um, Sam's Club tomorrow and just ask if they could send a new lid just so nothing nasty gets in it. But I won't be using this for cook cooking or anything this will be purely for my guinea pigs because they're spoiled and you know they need a lot of stuff so um no, and then i ordered four of these blankets because i like to have two of these kind of one on each end of the cage for especially for my boys so i figured um i like to wash them every week too whenever i so one of these will go across and so yeah i'm all set on blankets but and then samantha sent an order to us which is so graceful grateful she said that there's two more things coming too she said two bags of adult guinea pig food so which is beyond kind of her she did not have to you guys always before you ever send anything to us always 
donate to your local rescue or Humane Society and all of them first. So that's just my advice. We have plenty and we can afford to get our guinea pigs. We don't look at them chow down on there. I know they love those meta balls. They're going berserk. Yeah. Um, but we can afford to buy. But so grateful of you, Samantha. She does not have a channel. She emailed me. My mom's trying to catch Simon. He's being a little turd. He's the most skittish of the three. But, anyways, so she sent a two-pack of um, Natural Science Urinary Support, which I give my adult guineas one of these every day, and then on um, Saturdays I get a cranberry one. So, so grateful. There's 120 of them in here, so that will last us a while. And then she also sent two 10 pound bags of essential oxbow young guinea pig food so the boys will love this and then right here she sent some nature's miracle cage cleaner which is awesome that's awesome um so and then she also sent us a little vacuum which is extremely nice, nice of her because we use our vacuum every day and i'm just waiting for the day that the vacuum decides to no longer be with us <laughs> and then we'll have a spare yes so that was so nice thank you so much samantha you did not she does not have a youtube channel or anything she just said that she loves to watch us and she's just um she enjoys watching our guinea pigs and us posting every day so at least we try to post every day but he's being a little butt he is being a he does butt. not want my mom to grab anybody to grab him he's like nan and a boo boo <laughs> Uh -huh. So this will be Simon and Garfunkel's cage. So can you tell them why Simon and Garfunkel were their name? Simon and Garfunkel were a rock band back whenever I was young, which will date <laughs> date me really well. I was born in the early '60s, so I am almost 60 years old, as you can tell, probably tell. I'll be 60 in March. Yay! And yes, uh, but Simon and Garfunkel was a band that was back when I was young, and when he was already named Simon, and I thought of Simon and Garfunkel. Yes. I just thought of that for that. So music. we originally named them. Well, originally we were going to name the two males that we were getting Chippendale, and then they brought three males. So we decided to name them Simon, after Theodore, and Alvin. But after doing a lot of research, ninety percent chance of a fallout rate. With males, and then they most likely, if they have a fallout, they most of the time have to live individually. So, look at my mom. <laughs> um, so, the most of the time, they had to live individually. And so, she finally got him. Yay! And she cornered him. Um, they had to live individually. So, we didn't want that, obviously. We want what's best for our guinea pigs. So, we decided to just add. A four, a wall, a six male. No, I don't want that. I'm mad. I'm mad right now. No, I'm gonna have some. So, um, that's why we went with Simon Garfunkel, and then we went with um Chippendale. We like to really have our guinea pigs' names in pairs, just because it's so stinking cute and adorable. But um, we also we thought of a bunch of other names, but those were the ones we liked. The ones we liked the best, since we already had Tom and Jerry. We considered. Um, Bert and Ernie. Mm -hmm. We also considered Batman and Robin. So, but we went with. When we told when we told uh, our cousin about Simon and Garfunkel, she thought that was really cute. Yes, my cousin loved it. She yeah. was like, "That's the best." So, but. And the thing was, I wasn't even allowed to listen to the radio growing up. <laughs> yeah, my mom. Or to. We mom never had any record players or anything like that. My parents were really strict. Yes. And we only had two channels on TV, and there were certain shows we weren't allowed to watch. So these Meadow Cubes are a hit with them. Oh, they love these. I know there's a lot of people that feed Meadow hay, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. What kind of hay do you guys feed? Let me know in there. There's a whole bunch on the back. It lists them. Let me know okay. what kind you feed. Uh, we just feed um, purely Timothy hay, and then we feed... You don't want to feed... Um, Alfalfa, hay, and young guinea pig pellets, you want to feed either one or the other. So we go with the young guinea pig pellets and then Timothy hay good? just so you there's, like no, that, huh? there's no mixing up. That's but. what I was trying to show you was that. He's like, Psh, whatever. 
So I gotta go get veggies for these piggies because they think they're starving to death. They, they they know they're starving to death. There's no thinking about it. They're sure. So they're yeah, sure. this is where Simon and Garfunkel are gonna be, and they're gonna be in a playpen so we can watch them, and hopefully we don't have any issues. The nice thing is they're nice and young, so we're expecting a great outcome with them. But oh, he really likes this stuff, Mama Jenny. Do you like it? He says it's really good. Is it's, it nummies? Yeah. I, and uh, Tom and Derry have already been chowing on theirs. I saw them right away. I might have to get a drink again. I had to fill his water up again. They drink, those two boys drink crazy amounts of water. Yeah. Don't you, Tom and Jerry's? Our cage is right. You guys, I just changed their, I gotta add their other one. I just okay. changed their fleece. Here you go. Here's this. Two days ago, and you think, like, I've not changed it. Let me show you. I gotta do their evening routine, but Chip and Dale... I mean, Simon and Tom and Jerry, you think a bomb went off in here. I don't know they what did. they've been doing, they but they've been having a ball. I'm going to have to take this big chunk out and shake it out good because they have decided they're, you guys, two days ago, they're due for a fleece change on Wednesday. But, oh, my gosh, it's Monday, you guys. Two days. This is what they did and in two days. days. And they were just vacuumed this morning around. And then look at by their house. They have, like, the poop collection of the year. You think I only vacuum them once a year, practically. That's what it looks like in here. I mean, there was a bomb went off. They had a blast. Yeah, and then these, that. they love these chew toys, but I'm having issues with these grids getting them to stay. So, you know, that's like a challenge of the year. But it's all good. Life will go on. So I got to put all this stuff away. Thank you again to Samantha. We so appreciate you. But you honestly, you guys, I just want to clarify, you don't ever have to send anything we're beyond blessed and we appreciate it and we just love honestly I just really enjoy making these videos it's literally my hobby I talk about it all the time and I, I when I gain a subscriber my mom poor mom she gets a subscriber count every day don't you yes <laughs> I'm like oh we just said 300 my dogs are extremely jealous my dogs are like whoa and then you want to tell them about the greenhouse oh yeah we we just got a greenhouse Jim I'll just put a photo. So me. it's 20 by 10 feet. So it's yep. 20 feet long by 10 feet wide by 7 feet high. Yep. And we're going to try and do a garden in that because... My mom is a gardener. I love to garden, but getting out is really hard for me uh, because I can't hear the phone ring. She has really bad down. arthritis, too. So bending And I have real thing, really bad arthritis and stuff like that. And, and tilling that I can't do because of my abdominal surgery last year so we're going to try to do a greenhouse garden year round and so if you want to see videos on that we're hoping they'll be able to grow enough lettuce for the guinea pigs and vegetables for us yep and enough for us of course and all kinds of different kinds of because vegetables are really good for both of us we're both yep. type 1 diabetics mm -hmm. insulin dependent so we can't ask for a better thing than that and we love all right, you guys, as always, I'll see you tomorrow, but I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.